Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in the U.S. territory of the Northern Mariana Islands, particularly in the capital city of Saipan, where we find Ass Elmo auditing City Hall. Huh, I guess Guam wasn't enough for him. What does he have to do? Go visit all the other U.S. territories as well now? Maybe because he's not welcome in the United States anymore? At least not the mainland. He wants to get banned from any other territory too. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Auditing America. We're in Saipan in the Northern Mariana Islands. U.S. territory. We're going to do a First Amendment audit. And we're going to see if they respect our First Amendment right to video record in a public place. We're at the mayor's office. Let's see how it goes. Can I get a public records request form, please? Thank you. Can I help you? Can I help you? I'm sorry. Can I help you? Um, yeah, I already have this. So, where do we go? You need to go somewhere? I'm just taking pictures. Is that... This is a government office, bro. I know. Well, I know that. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it in a private place. This is a public place, right? Can you just step out? I have customers right now, man. Well, they're not customers. This is. They're actually bosses. You see. Ah, uh, there he goes, right into the public servant jargon and BS that he likes to go into already. Just because somebody works for the public doesn't give you the right to act like an asshole toward them. In fact. In some of these offices, they can refuse you service if you do act like that. See, this is financed dude, by their tax. Dude, dude, dude. Sir, hey. don't talk to me like that. You don't talk to me like that. You're the one boss, bossing me around. I'm not doing anything to you. You want me to call the police? Get up. Well, mate, call them. I don't, I'm not Stop doing anything. Stop being a can, bro. Get up. I'm not doing anything to you. What's your problem? I'm just taking pictures. Okay, take a pictures outside. You. But you don't have to be rude. That's the thing. You, you, you're supposed to be nice to the people. Dude, get out. Listen, man. Don't talk to me like no. that, bro. Get out. Get you want me to call the police right now, You bro? can call whoever you want. I'm not doing anything wrong. He's videoing us. Like, just, just come Correct. Out yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, Be you're going to post it on social media, bro. Sir, calm down. Why are you so agitated? Hey. Hey. Get away. You get away. Get hey, out. Get away. Get out. Get away, sir. Get, get away out. from me. Sir, please. Get out. Dude, it's Friday, bro. Okay, but why are you being, why are you getting, uh, why are you harassing me, bro? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you came in unannounced and started antagonizing him in front while he was trying to work with some customers and treating him like a pile of garbage. I don't know, but a lot of people would act like that after that. Why are you harassing me? This guy's crazy. What? This guy's crazy. No, you want to know what's crazy? Wait, we'll security. Go. Okay, no problem. I haven't done anything wrong. I came here to do a public records request and I'm taking pictures in Saipan. Really? You guys go over like that? Over some uh, tourists taking pictures? Okay. Okay, and he just... You guys saw that. You saw how he behaved? He was very intimidating. So I'll be more than glad to show the police when they arrive his behavior. And we'll see who's really in trouble. You call that intimidating? Ha 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 ha. Come do my job for a few days and wait till you get a student that's six foot two, three hundred pounds trying to headbutt you. Then you'll see what intimidating is. At that point, you'll learn to dodge. Or you'll learn to catch his head like a football and push him out of the way. No, because I was talking to you. Okay, and look, I filled it out. I was what taking happened? pictures. What's the I problem? I haven't done anything wrong. You know what? What are you doing here? I'd love, to, sp I'd love to speak to the mayor. He's not here right now. Okay, that's fine. Why is this gentleman being so... Because you're, you're like... Why? You're you're in the office for one. What is your reason? I'm working in a video. I'm conducting business as well. Yeah, but you have, to fight. you have to clear first with the mayor before you do anything in the office. But he's not here right well, now. Well, after that door, yes. No, no, Over no. Here. Even in here. Well, I'm not doing anything wrong. Can you just uh, turn that off, please? Turn that off, please? 
I'm not. Your phone. Well, you guys are being extremely rude to me no, for no we're reason. Not being rude. We're just asking you. Yes, this guy just ran up to me like a maniac. It's on video, so I'll be more than glad to show you. He was very. I haven't been rude to anyone at all. You don't just run into people like you. the way he did. That's I gave you the form. Correct, and I filled it out, filled and I'm about out, to give it to you. you just oh, walk. Form Request form. Well, you just walk by me when I'm asking correct, you. Correct, and you, you, help you, yeah, you gave it to I me. Mean, I filled it yeah, out. I didn't walk by you. I went there. Look, my sunglasses are still there. Yes, you were. I filled there. it out. You were well, so exactly, say how it was. I've been you here. No, no, you guys are being rude. I asked you how can I help you when you just walk by. Ma'am, this is the this Just is the people. No, this is the people's building. You guys are public employees. Yes. You're supposed to treat the public with respect. You don't run That's just you don't just did. run into people we the way that he. You as long as you respect us. Well, no, I didn't run into nobody. I haven't really disrespected are anyone. Are you are are you a supervisor here? I can help you. Oh, I appreciate it, sir. I walked in here. I came here from Florida to do videos about the constitution and I came here to try to see if I can speak to the mayor and do a public request and this gentleman over here is super agitated running up on me because I'm can... doing IDs that's personal information sir I wasn't taking anyone's information Dude. I was taking a video and you ran up to me like a maniac starts taking pictures of me with his camera all the way over here I ran backwards all the way over here come on why is he doing that I why why would you guys get triggered over over uh, a tourist that comes to just do videos? I didn't I didn't disrespect, speak loud, say any bad words or anything. You call yourself tourist, but most tourists aren't exactly going to go to their local government office and start filming everything inside causing problems. Look, I asked for a, a public request form. I filled it out. I walked in there to take a couple of a seconds of video, and this guy goes like, goes like a maniac on me. So, I don't know if he says he's calling the police. I don't know if he's calling the police, but if he is, I'll be more than glad to show them the video of what he did, because he was being disorderly. He 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 just broke the law by disturbing my peace. All right. So, uh, what what can we do for you? Well. How can I make an appointment to speak to the mayor about this and about other things? Just take his name down, phone number. The mayor is not in today or this morning, but he should be back anytime this afternoon. Awesome. Right? Awesome. Get your, get also, your name and phone number. also, by the way, there's thousands watching my videos because I am a YouTuber that have uh, almost 247,000 subscribers in my channel. And I would never go anywhere breaking the law, trespassing, or doing anything wrong, okay? Are you serious? I'm, do I'm doing things with respect for educational purposes, and this is what we get. The government of the United States. Here we go. The only reason why I think he was very concerned when you were video videoing the ID section was, he has his monitor open, his screen, there are some... Well, I understand that, but if you're concerned about something... Personal ...information on the screen that could be shown on your video. Correct, but it's just and the way that he handled it. Yeah, okay, so uh, we he, apologize for that. No right? problem, and... and uh, you made an announcement that I'm here to take a video, uh, you know, it's, he could have been forewarned. But I, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe he turned back and you were already. Yeah, he videos was. And he didn't have time to close. I didn't even up. interrupt. I didn't say anything mean or anything. Right. He just ran up on me. I was like, oh. Sure. So, so, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this one, and I'll just, um, because I was, I wasn't even gonna speak to the mayor. I was just gonna do a regular request, but now I just want to make an appointment because. There's a lot of things that I want to uh, speak about. Actually, I came here to speak about this and to find ways to train people on the, on the United States Constitution, on the First Amendment specifically, sir. We have, uh, we have a lot of pol police officers. You are going to provide the training? Or... 
No, we've already, this is a, this is a paid service by the United States citizens. You guys are paying this all to, we're paying for all this training together. When you get hired here, they train you. That's a, pay, that's paid by the government. When you, when you become a police officer or when you become the mayor or the governor, you take an oath to the United States constitution. So that's a sacred oath. A lot of people died for our freedoms. So this no, training. Who, who will be providing the training? Well, sir. Who, I, I thought you were. Uh, you said you were. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm forced. To, I, I'm, I'm being forced to come over here and, and train you the hard way. As usual, he thinks himself as a teacher. But let me ask you something, Asselmo. Can you at least tell me what the anticipatory set means? If you can't even answer that simple question, then you've never studied pedagogy before. And therefore, you wouldn't even know where to begin teaching. And since you're from Florida and claim to be a teacher of some sort, then you should know what the Sea Palms website is and what it's used for. How about lesson planning? Do you know the first thing about lesson planning? When by thousands watching you, okay. because you guys are supposed to know this. I don't have to, you, you guys, you don't, you shouldn't need a training. You know, my daughter knows, knows this. This is simple yeah, stuff. I'm just asking, who's going to No, well, you're kind of, you're, training? no, well, actually, you're being sarcastic about it because you're like, oh, you're going to provide the training? No, sir. You guys, you, this is the mayor's office. You guys all get trained for whatever position that you have here. If It's all about respecting each other. Saipan people, chamorros, are all about respect. So, and we are. so, and I know that. So, it's the most important thing. So why is this why is this guy coming over here? I don't know if he's a local, but well, he works at the uh, at sure he works for the government. Again. I'll, I'll say it again. I don't know what happened, but well, I'll show you. It, I'll be more than you here. mentioned that you were here. You came into this office and you were here to provide training on no. the U.S. Constitution. No, I'm doing videos. To, I'm doing educational videos about the Constitution, the sir. US, about the U.S. Constitution, that we would have understood. But now that you're saying that. You're here to educate us. Well, you guys are about the U.S. Constitution, and I'm interested. Who's going to be doing the educating? Well, Mr. America is educating you guys right now. You guys have epically failed on the First Amendment. You see, do you know the First Amendment, sir? And you have epically failed at being a human being and a teacher. Do you know what? It doesn't matter if I know. Yes, it does because you're working here. Talking to you. Well, why wouldn't that matter if it? What, um, you see, that's the whole thing. That's the main point. That's the main reason I'm here, because you guys say it doesn't matter if I know the First Amendment. Okay. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. You just said it. If you want to leave your name and phone number, we'll get back to you. Well, I appreciate it, but sir, it does matter. It does matter. Okay, we have business to conduct here, so, uh, so just leave your business. You see, that's why the United States is here. If Japan was still here, you'd have no First Amendment. But you see? I know that. Yeah. It's, I, I well, know. well the, this is the United States. Right. This is not... Japan. Or... <laughs> and there you go. You even fail to understand that the Japanese have a constitution now. And that one was written in 1947, after World War II. You should really take a history course. In fact, you'll find a lot of the elements from our constitution in the Japanese constitution because we helped write it. Because we occupied them for about eight years after the war ended. Phone number and when the mayor gets here, we'll talk to him about Thank his, you. Thank you. Uh, okay, thanks a lot. Uh, name, My name is Enrique, Enrique Torres. Yes, ma'am. Bro. No problem. I'm just gonna say sorry, bro. Oh, okay, okay. I appreciate that. No, that, I, that I just didn't like it because I was helping a customer, bro. No. And all their personal information was on the computer. Listen, bro. I appreciate it. I that's yeah. that's that that's I respect that. Yeah. I, I respect yeah. that. All right. Those are mine. Here, pound it, dog. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I respect that. I I it's not personal, bro. It happens all the time. Sometimes yeah. people don't don't know how um how to you know. No, it's, yeah, like it's that, okay. You didn't do. You, you, they were uncomfortable too. You did the right thing by apologizing. That's it. No, so, 
Just to let you know, the two customers there. But I wasn't filming them. No, but they saw you walking in and they were uncomfortable. Correct, but I wasn't filming them, bro. Yeah, but still, all their personal information was on the computer when you were filming. But I didn't do that. I was filming you. Exactly. Can I see the video? And I'll show you the information. I'll show you the video, but I didn't film that. I, I would never expose anyone's information, that, bro. That's what I'm saying. Still, man. You know. And that's exactly why you shouldn't be filming in a government office to begin with, because you might record information that people don't want to get out in the public. Which means the personal information of the customers who come there for their own safety and security. You moron.